Hey guys, now we are going to discuss about that. How to install Nexus server in Ubuntu on Ubuntu on Ubuntu. on Ubuntu 18.04 instance okay clear then how we are going to do this let's see and now now first this if you want to install this uh, Ubuntu in uh, Nexus or Sonar Cube or whatever it may be this like, you should be take the minimum T2 medium instance or else it will throw the error to kind of out of memory error we don't have a space to install this like those kind of issues we are facing you must be taking the minimum instance if you are using the AWS. Now let me launch the instance with the medium size. But it is chargeable, guys. It's a chargeable. Okay. It's a chargeable. Now go to this Ubuntu server. Um, Ubuntu free eligible. Then select. Then next configuration and then previous configuration and then we should choose here medium okay you should choose the medium medium in this medium will come up with the this 4 gb ram and then 2 cpu core okay and then okay next i want to continue Right, next add storage and then okay, fine, 8 GB enough. Then I don't want the key value paste, then it's fine. Okay, this is uh, 22 port is as of now, fine. Just launch it, just use the same key, whatever I have existed. I'm going to create this instance. Let's launch this instance to take uh, two minutes of time. Once it's launched, we are able to, once we like access that, we are going to install. Right now, this. Why we are going to this Nexus? We are going to use to store our artifacts, our backup, our wire files, jar files, and natural images. Anything we are going to use. This is an example like Maven artifacts, artnets, Docker private repositories. You can use Node npm kind of things and even Python kind of things. And all these kind of uh, repositories we are going to be stored in the Nexus, right? And and this is our whole installation of process we are going to be followed and see that. It works okay now okay. then it's running instance now next i make it as an instance name is nexus okay my one instance name then let it be connect this copy and then that uh, key file i have in this current directory in this directory only i have the pfl if it's not there what you should do we should be go to that particular path rs we should be give the Absolute path of our PM file. Okay. Yeah. What I'm trying to say. This PM file, right? Yeah. This PM file you should take the absolute path for path where you are this PM file is located in your machine, right? Once done. Now I'm able to connect it successfully. Now what I will do? Let me go our documentation installation steps. I will return one by one. Now first you take any instance and we need to be updated the first let me update this okay then next we need to install the minimum jdk8 should be there now i'm going to install the jdk8 jdk8 and jrg at least done the next i'm going to do like particular path i'm going to go pt for installing something just that you wish okay if you want you can go or not from this version 13.3.16.1, I'm going to download this OPT folder. I'm going to download. Once you download that, then we need to be extract that. Right. 
I'm going to extracting this. So accepted. Just I'm mo moving that one folder or renaming that from here to put in access. Okay, done. Next. Now, for as a good security practice purpose, what we should do? We should create the new user and add that user permission to run our Nexus service. This is a good practice. Even Nexus service on our queue, anything. Just I created the one new user. I'm going to enter new that user password. I'm going to give the same Nexus, 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 Nexus. Okay, full name, enter, 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 enter. Other, enter, Y, enter. Done. Okay, now that's done. Next set password. Then we need to change the sudo file. Now opening the sudo file. And this file, we need to be edit this. This, this is nano editor. This nano editor means uh, insert mode is not required. Now here I'm going to add that Nexus user permissions. Okay, without asking password. This is password, no password I'm going to give him. Nexus out, no password. Okay, now this is the meaning of what I'm providing the all permissions without asking the password. Okay, without asking the password. Just control X, yes, yes. Okay, then next. After adding the permissions, and the next, oh, give the permissions for the particular folder, OPT Nexus folder with the user and the group is the Nexus Nexus. Change the owner and the change the owner for Nexus group and Sonata group also, Sonata folder also. In the open, like OPT folder, there is a folder called as Nexus and the Sonata group. And the two folders, I may, I'm changing the owner as the Nexus Nexus. Nexus the group and Nexus the owner. And then next, what we should do open this nexus inside our uh, opt nexus bin that nexus that rc file and uncomment the run as the user with that user you should be open and give the nexus by default is empty user let me show you by default it's a it's a commented line you should be insert mode and then remove this and then we need to build the our username that is the user is we created nexus Yes, save the file. Save the file because of we are looking for the user to log in this Nexus now. Nexus, you want to run any Nexus service, we are using the Nexus server, Nexus user. That's what I'm going to use the user. The next, I'm going to use the link, soft link I'm going to provide because of when I run the Nexus, Nexus service, now it will point out to the web. OPT Nexus and bin Nexus, right? When we're discussing in the Linux time, we discuss about the soft link and early back. That is what, okay, links, something I'm going to provide. I'm going to link with the init.b nexus, okay. Right, nexus I added for the installation services, okay. And this service will be booting startup, it will be like boot, will be start our nexus server. If you give the soft link, what will happen? I'm going to give the init.d placements. This is they will ask you if you want to any service you want to run in the boot time, what where will you? We need to give the link with that service as in the init.d folder. Okay. Then login as an access user now. Switch to the user, SU hyphen access. I this will ask the password of Nexus. We just created password for this. Nexus, Nexus. Then start the our service. Init.d nexus dot start. Starting the nexus, right? Now you want to check that nexus will be start or not. What is the port number will be run the nexus, guys? What is the port of nexus? Anyone remember when we done Windows, right? Anyone remember how what is the port default port for nexus? Hmm? Anyone? Eight one eight one. What is the port for nexus? Eight zero eight one, right? And then, what is the port number for Sonar Q? Yeah, go be correct. Okay, that port number should be up and running here. If something is not, that port number is not listening means something goes wrong and it's not running. Yeah, correct, go be. Okay, this not running. Just see that why it's not running. We should be take care of that. Okay, it's, if it is not running means 
listening port numbers. What is the port here? And here 322 is running, 6010 is running here, and 6010. But it's not there for the 801. Now, if is that port number is not running, what we should do? We should check the logs for that. Okay. Where we need to check for that? Where log? Go to the path. So our system logs only. CD. Where? Where is the default log path is located in our system? Where log? And then ls right here. Then next, what we should do? We are going to open the cat syslog. Okay, we should open the sudo permission. Okay, and then something, something issue. Help ping failure. Is this a small issue? I don't know. Let me check. Error helping find error. EC2. Request error. EC2 is something. Let me check. Come down. Or not. Let me check one more time. So it's taking time to start our nexus right that's what it's not running no it's up and running okay it's, that is a different issue this is not our issue okay this if you want to check that current date and time what is the lock that our signal you can check and if you find out any nexus related that will work now it's running right a081 now what we need to do this port you should be allowing our security group just go to security group and then large instances this nexus right sorry already there in the nexus we need to click that large for and edit that inbound rows we need to add the word then next and then click that save it and then access this instance like it will do and take the nest out. Nexus, then B, paste it, and then H0, H1. Yes, when Nexus repost is ready. Then what is the default username password for Nexus, guys? login as a admin the next admin tell me what is that admin forgot admin anyone good not admin one to three okay good go people not admin let's say admin one to, admin admin one to three okay now now it's ready now i log in as admin user that's fine now if you want you can get the users also here is as of now, I don't want to require. Now, if you want to create any repository now, we need to go click yes. See, this many repositories we can create, like as APT, Composer, Canon, C, like Docker, LPA, Git, LPLFS, Go, Helm, Maven, NPM, Nugget, okay, F2, 5, 5, 5P, and this is the Python related packages, and R, Draw, Ruby Gems, M. Yeah. This repository we are able to store in this Nexus repository, okay? Now, what you should do, just Go to setting here, then create the repositories. Same as it as is well, whatever we done with the Windows system, right? Same create repository. And if you want to push down Maven related Maven post, 
and if it uh, npm related npm host okay and npm five by five related host and in docker docker related host we need to be select that and if you want to select maven select the maven hosted once you select it we need to do the put it here i guess my uh, like what are the application jar name we want to create this repository name just create that repository name and then create repository and you want to search the repository where your system go to your browsers browse in and then browse here repositories browse here and then you can able to see here this thing if something if anything is pushed this repository we are able to see in the all jars and in this section all one version second version third version three fourth version what are the versions we have that we are able to see and again clear guys clear that's it and um, next we are going to discuss about that uh, 